Hey guys, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some Halloween decorations that I've bought to decorate with for my witch party. Now, I already have a ton of decorations, but every year I just add a little bit uh, to the mix. And if you hear some noises in the background, I put on a spooky CD. Uh, I thought it was fitting for the show, so let me know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> can you hear and see me okay, I hope? Yes, sparkly. So let's see who we have in the chat. Um, going on Grumpy is here, Barbara and Darlene and Don and Tam. Hey guys, welcome. Uh, bargain, bargain shopping is here also. Hey, so tonight you guys, uh, Barbara going on Grumpy is going to be on Dwayne's MSP auction show. So everybody tune in for that. Um, we also have Christy Winland in the chat from Denton and Donna Webster and Catherine Dahmer. Hello. Um, hey, Air Purple Lily. Okay, you guys, can y'all hear that scary music at all? My daughter came in here and she was like, what is that noise? <laughs> can you hear it? Okay, so <clears throat> first up, um, I went to the Dollar Tree. So everything I'm going to be showing you is from the Dollar Tree, uh, Party City, and Kirkland's, and uh, Pier One. So y'all can't hear the music? Bummer. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I have music playing in the background. I guess I don't have it loud enough. It's like scary haunted music. Um, so Doris Young is here. She says... Hi from Alabama, Roll Tide, <laughs> and uh, Rag 1602, you are not late. I just got started. So, um, okay, everything I'm going to show you now came from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> so I got this really cute little skull. It's just a little plaque. It's got a little thing to hang it up on. So I'll be using this to decorate with too. And then I got some garland. <clears throat> I love to decorate with the garland, you guys, because like I can put it around the mirrors in my house or the bathroom mirrors. So I got a pretty uh, black and silver one. And we got a two of the purple, uh, the black and the purple with the purple bats. And it's just, um, here's the tag up so you guys can see. Just the regular little uh, garland. And then I got one of these cute little witches to hang up. She's got uh, little arms and legs that um, are like slinky. Y'all don't hear that screaming? <laughs> hey, Dwayne, Mothership Products is in the house. So, yeah, these are fun to hang up. Hi, Thrifty Marcy. She says she loves the owl picture behind me. Thank you. And Bargain Finder, hello. Um, let's see what this is. This is a decorative banner. And it's little witch legs. Super cute. Seriously, y'all, if I didn't buy any decorations at all this year, new ones, I would probably still have plenty of decorations. But I can't help it. I have to, I have to buy new Halloween stuff. Hey, Debbie Porter and Julie. Hey. Um, so here's a light up door cover. It's a skull and I think the light, I meant the eyes must blink. Let's see. Yeah, I think the eyes blink. So that's really cool. That's a, a fun way to decorate too, just on the doors inside the house, put those door covers on. And then I got a little door hanger. It's got, I need to straighten out this bow. The bow is all funky. I know, I love Halloween stuff too. I almost didn't have my witch party this year, but I spent an hour on Pinterest and um, it really got me excited. So I decided I would go ahead and have it. Just decided I was gonna do it like a few days ago, but this is gonna be my fifth annual witch party, you guys. Oh my gosh, the fire alarm. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, I think the battery's low. I don't think anything's on fire in my house. Uh, 
There's that garland I told y'all I got, two of those. Um, Debbie Porter says, I got some bird skeletons from the Dollar Tree. I may need to go back. <laughs> I'll have to check those out. I know, battery time, right? I don't know. It's, it's really the worst whenever it does it in the middle of the night when we're sleeping. So the kids freak out. I freak out. The dogs are going nuts. I guess because it's hard on their ears. Um, wait. Wrong holiday, isn't it? Laughing out loud. What is Catherine saying? Catherine Dahmer says, understand the Halloween things, but what's up with the green hat? Wrong holiday, isn't it? No, this hat can do double duty. It can be Halloween time or it can be uh, St. Patrick's Day. So, yeah. And in all honesty, I was going to wear a witch hat, but there's still a must storage unit and I haven't got them yet. So we have to deal with this. Um, let's see. Dwayne says... Are you cooking again? Is that the, oh, ha, 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 funny, Dwayne, very funny. Uh, Debbie uh, Porter says, yep, 3 a.m. seems to be the time mine goes off. Okay, that's kind of creepy, right? Because that's like, like the haunted hour, right? Okay. So, and then um, just for fun, I got a, a new little scarf. I thought this would be fun to wear sometime next month for Madeline, my daughter, or myself. And this it just has little uh, pumpkins and cats on it. Super cute. And then I got some fright tape. This one is orange and black, and it says uh, "Beware." Hey, Lonnie, Grudge Flips is in the house. What's going on? <laughs> so um, again, fun to decorate. Love this stuff. Um, and then I got a couple uh, tablecloths, or table covers rather. So I usually set up two big card tables, and um, we have extra snacks on it because usually there's um, not enough room in the kitchen for everything. So I usually put the desserts like in the living room on a big card table, <coughs> and. Um, and on one table, I'll set up a whole bunch of wine glasses um, with people to, you know, to write their name on it and stuff like that. I usually buy my wine glasses for the parties at the Dollar Tree, and then that way everybody can um, take their glass home with them. But I get my own special glass, so I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, here's the other one I got. This one's a little kitty looking, but it's still fun for one buck, right, to decorate with. Hey, Bunny. Bunny just joined us. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I got these at the Dollar Tree, too. These are new this year. I remember seeing these last year, but they're they're little ghosts, and they're pretty long. Anyway, I'm going to put these in. We have two trees out front, so I'm going to put these in there. I also got two witches. I'll show you guys in a minute that I'm going to put in the trees. Uh, yes, I have a, a couple of cauldrons. I just got one a couple a couple um, months ago at a garage sale for a dollar. It's so pretty at ceramic. I should have brought it to show you guys, but I'm sure I'll be decor with, decorating with it somehow. So Monica is here from Keeping It Real with the Millers. Hello. Okay. Now these little witches, I'm also going to hang in the trees outside. Oh, and I forgot to get it, but I also got one of those little projector lights that you plug in and um, it has little witches everywhere. So I'm gonna put that in the front yard and like have it shining on the garage and stuff. So when people are coming up to the party, they'll see all the witches flying. So here are the little witches that I got uh, this morning at Party City. They were like, I think they were $2.99 each. Wait, okay, this must be the front. Let's see your eyes. Okay, so there she is and her little skirt here says boo. Hey, Ann Hamilton. That. And I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to do this today because um, my husband is off tomorrow, so I'm hoping to start getting decorating with some of this stuff. And that's just how it is whenever I have my witch parties, you guys. I have to start decorating like in September because it takes me a long time to get all these decorations up. Um, but it's okay because it's double duty. Um, you know, it's it's fun for my witch party. And then on Halloween night, my whole family comes over here and we all hang out at my house and everything's all decorated and fun. So um, 
Tam says, or asks rather, is Texas a big Halloween party state? I've seen so many Texans having big Halloween parties. Yes. Us Texans love Halloween. Um, Dwayne says, you spend more on Halloween than I spend on Christmas. I don't know. I go nuts for Christmas, too. I have a friend down the street. She usually has a Christmas party, um, you know, like a elf party. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun, too. We like to have parties. <laughs> so I got this at Kirkland's, you guys. This is, this is Frank Gilbert, the pig. It's a 16 by 16 framed picture. <clears throat> now this is the first year I've, I think, have I ever bought pictures before? <clears throat> I can't remember. I have to go through my storage unit. But this guy is going to go in the living room. <clears throat> I have a, um, a real pretty like wood display on the wall, and it's got the shape of uh, Texas with the heart on it. But it's removable, so um, I can change it out for the season. So I'm going to take that. Texas down and I'm going to put this little guy up for the month of October. Um, Somebody, Lonnie says, why did you just put elf in quote? Oh, <laughs> because it's like, um, like, you know, like naughty elves, like, you know, we dress kind of funky and it's just a lot of fun. Hey, Vanessa and bargain shopping. I can't remember if I said hi to you. Hey. <laughs> Um, I have a bad long-term memory and short-term memory. Tam likes the picture. So does Darlene. Awesome. Kathy's here. Hey, Kathy. Yeah, I know. Right, Lonnie? <laughs> we have fun. Actually, if you go on my um, personal Facebook, you probably see the pictures. Yeah, there's some crazy pictures. Okay. Um, okay, so let me show you guys what I got at... Pure One. Pure One's like one of my favorite stores. And Kirkland's. I love Kirkland's too. So I got um, two of these cute little uh, soap dispensers. Little pumpkin with a witch hat. So I got um, one for the kitchen and one for the bathroom that everybody will be using the night of the party. And those were pretty cheap. Um, it says they were $5.95 on the tag, but Halloween stuff this morning at Pier 1 was some of the items. I think were 20 or 40% off. Oh, here's my receipt. Uh, I, no, 30% off. So uh, $5.95 minus $1.79 is what those were. And then I got some uh, fun little napkins, and they say drink up witches. Uh, let's see, the napkins were 30% off too, regularly $3.98 minus $1.19. Yeah, I didn't really get a whole lot there, and usually <coughs> I buy a brand new witch hat every single year. And um, I will usually buy my hat at Walgreens or Pier 1. And I've already been to both this year, and I'm not liking anything that I'm seeing. I don't like anything at Party City either. So I've got some pretty awesome hats that I've worn in past years. So I'll probably just get one uh, maybe that I wore maybe the first or second year I did it. Uh, probably be purple, purple and black this year. But I had to get me a new little wine glass for one. And it was regularly $10.95, and it was 30% off, so... Uh, $3.28 off. Are you guys still with me? Okay. Uh, Tim says, maybe I need to move to Texas. You guys are party people. My brother lives in Louisiana, and they're party people too. Uh, he has some awesome Halloween parties. Yeah, it's crazy. There are a lot of Halloween parties around here, you guys. Okay, so here's my uh, new wine glass. And it says, drink up, which is, you probably can't see that very good. And then the base is also a spider web. Wait, you can't see that very well. Super cute. There's a little witch on her broom. So, love that. Oh, I love the little cat with the pumpkin.
Debbie Porter says, we'll be having a Walking Dead party on October 22nd this year instead, but the decor will work for Halloween. Double fun. Oh, my goodness. That sounds fun. So is everybody going to come, like, dressed up as zombies? Thanks, Bunny. She says she loves the wine glass. And Bargain Shopping says that they went to Salem during October, home of the witches. Yes. Um, and then we went by Kirkland's because they're like right beside each other. Um, I got a new little boo banner. So this is, um, it's made out of fabric, but that's, that's what it looks like. And you guys, once I decorate for my party, like probably <coughs> the night of my party, I'll probably uh, do a quick little video so you guys can see all my party decorations uh, in action. So yeah, what did I pay for this? $10.99. I want to say their Halloween stuff was on sale too. But yeah, super cute. Oh my goodness, look at these little Chanel balls. Aren't they cute? I just noticed those. So... What else Halloween did I get there? I got some not Halloween stuff. Y'all want to see it? Uh, I don't guess we got a whole lot there. Hey, Skippy. Um, okay, so real quick, I'll just show you guys since I have the bag. Uh, Kirkland sells these uh, little scent bags. They're good to put like in your um, clothing drawers. Okay, Debbie wants to see good clothing drawers or like in your car to make it smell good. So we picked up a couple. I wish you guys could smell them. They smell really good. Madeline, wants, she liked this one. Um, and then I had to get one of these for me too. We both got two each. And then I really liked this one. It's English Ivy. Tam says the zombie craze freaks me out. So glad the zombies like brains. They'll stay away from me. Oh, now don't say that. That is not nice to talk about yourself like that, Tam. But yeah, these smell amazing. Um, and then I got me a new uh, blanket for the living room when I'm sitting on my little chair. I'm always using my uh, my daughter's like Cinderella one. So now I have my own one. Yay, it's that real soft, plushy material. What do you call it? Velour? It says Kirkland's heavenly, luxuriously soft, warm, and plush throw. So, yeah. And it smells amazing, too, because it's been sitting in the bag with those uh, little scents, sachet bag. What do you call them? <coughs> yeah, very cozy. Okay, so. Okay, you guys, let's just, let's just get one thing straight. So the witches can be naughty a little sometimes too here at my party, especially after everybody started drinking um, the wine. So I have this full size uh, mannequin. Her name is Delilah and I dress her up every year in an outfit and I usually uh, display her or, you know, set her up somewhere by the fireplace and eventually everybody goes over there and starts taking pictures with Delilah. <laughs> Delilah is so popular, I had to transport her down the street to my neighbor's house for the Christmas party. So we had to dress her up like an elf. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. Um, but so anyway, okay, so, and I don't mean to make light of her, the hurricane that happened here or anything like that, but there was a picture going around, and it was like, a, it looked like a blow-up doll lying in the road, and I forget what the caption was, but... It was really funny. Anyway, it got me to thinking, well, maybe the ladies would like a man, a man like mannequin type thing at the party. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, I bought this, you guys. It is an inflatable love doll. <laughs> and I'm not even going to uh, front here. I've been hiding this in my closet. I don't want my kids to see this. They're not going to see this. <coughs> um yeah, so I figured everybody would have a lot of fun with this for pictures and with Delilah. Um, and the funny thing is, I'll probably get my husband to blow him up. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, you want to see, do you want to see the other side? The other side, I'm not sure what in the world is going on, but it is a little... Um, 
untasteful? <laughs> yes, of course, for the pictures. There will be lots of pictures. <laughs> Lonnie says, poor curd. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn it around really fast. Are you ready? Okay, so, and I think, I think he's about five feet tall. Yeah, I bought him on Amazon, and he came from FBA, see? <laughs> All right, so I, I don't know. I don't know what in the world. What in the world? I might have to put some clothes on him and dress him like a warlock or something. I don't know. But, yeah, so I'm going to hide that so uh, Madeline doesn't see it. <laughs> Mommy, what's that? Yeah, I, you know, right, Dwayne? Dwayne says, is he happy <laughs> to be modeling? Oh, my goodness. I mean, I don't know. There's no telling him what this guy's going to look like once we put some air in him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So, back to Party City. I got some uh, really cute little spider glitter cutouts. There's nine of them. And I'll decorate these and put these on the wall. Here's what they look like. And I got a couple of these for me. They are um, hair extensions. So I'm pretty sure it's just like um, a little clip. And I'll be wearing my hair down that night with my witch hat. So I'll just kind of mix it in with my hair. That and then... My daughter, Madeline, is going to be a skeleton girl, and we already got her costume, but we found this little headband topper this morning at Party City. Um, what do they call it? A black, a black and bone. But she just loved this, and it's got some feathers on it. So she will wear this with her Halloween costume. Barbara says, I'm not going to say it, but whatever makes you happy. It's not me. It's my girlfriend's. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I just thought, I'd, you know, the man would be fun for props. Uh. <laughs> Lonnie says, starting to see what the Halloween thing is all about over here, right? <laughs> uh, we have a good time. It's fun. <clears throat> okay. And then I got some decorations. Um, our front door has like a real long uh, side window beside it. And um, every year I put little window clings up and decorate with them. So I think these are only 99 cents at um, Party City. And some spider lights. These were $9.99 and they light up. Barbara, you better be nice to me or I'm not going to bid on any of your stuff tonight. <laughs> um, Catherine Dahmer says he may need a vampire cape. That's a good idea. Kurt was a vampire one year. I think we have a cape. Thanks for the idea, Catherine. Uh, what are you going to name him? I don't know. What do you think I should name him, Bunny? I don't know. My friends might end up naming him, but it'd be fun if he already had a name when they showed up. So let me know what you guys think I should name the, the man in the chat. Uh, yeah, let's name him. When, what is the date of your witch party? It is. It's going to be Saturday, October the 28th. I had to make it like the last uh, Saturday since I planned it so late. I usually send out the invite in early September so people can plan for it and save the date. But like I said, I just decided a few days ago, so I wanted to plan it out as far as I could. Hey, Henry. Um, so <laughs> Lonnie thinks we should name him Happy. Okay. Tam says Horace. Is that my, am I saying that right? Hooray, Horace. Um, let's see, Julie Venerum says, Tanya, you just need to do a live feed from your party. Your YouTube would go crazy. <laughs> I know, and I promise you, I thought about that, but then I don't want people, uh, I don't want people messing with my MacBook. <laughs> it's the only one I have, and it was really expensive. Uh, otherwise, I would. And I recently bought a new charger for my old MacBook, 
because I, you know, I would be willing to use my old one. I wouldn't mind. But that darn thing won't charge. I don't know what's going on. I, re you know, bought a brand new battery for it and it still won't work. So uh, I don't know what's going on. I wish I could fix it, though, because it would be fun to live stream. Like, there's no telling what people would say when they just walked up. I don't know how that would go. <laughs> um, oh, goodness. Uh, okay, Dwayne thinks we should name him Richard. And he says that would be evidence if we had a live feed going during the party. <laughs> Tam, you like Richard too? Barbara says Fonzie. Okay, keep it coming. I'm liking this. <laughs> so yeah, Spider Lights, $9.99 Party City. Oh, and I always, I always buy these every year. Um, this one, I always like to have stuff for people that don't drink alcohol, like besides wine. So I'll have like Coke and Dr. Pepper and ginger ale uh, available. And then I put, uh, I'll put these little signs over it. So we got some spider cider and some bat spruce, some zombie tonic and some bone juice. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dwayne says we should name him BJ. That is hilarious. Okay, I might consider that one. Hey, Knight, what's going on? He says, just cut the map book in half with a chainsaw and put it on YouTube. One million views. Dang, I might have to. <laughs> no, I would never cut it. It's so cute. It's like white. And it's still the kind where when you open it up, the apple lights up. So I don't know. I need, need my techie people. Knight and Lonnie, do you guys know why my MacBook, my old one, isn't working anymore? I have no idea. So it's like it won't charge. Like whenever I plug it in with a new charger, it still says 0%. It's on, and it'll stay on, <laughs> but it will not charge. It drives me nuts. So, okay, so that is for the... Um, the sodas and then this one like sometimes people will come over and they might not have a decorative wine bottle so I like to have these on hand and they're just like little wine bottle covers labels and um, oh there's five of them there so let's see we got witches potions spider sting cider uh, Haven's blood brew so those are pretty cool uh, Knight says my old MacBook isn't working because it's old and senile. Right, I know, but it's so stinking cute. I love it. Wish I could get it to work so we could stream from the witch party. Um, Rag1602 says yes, I vote for BJ. Okay, Knight, you got here a little late. You didn't see my man doll. <laughs> so I'll show you again real quick. What did I do with him? Oh, I hit him in the bag in case Madeline comes in here. So this is for the ladies. It is a love doll, inflatable love doll. And we were just talking about in the chat what we were going to name him. And um, I don't know, I think it's between Richard and BJ. <laughs> okay. And then I just bought some, um, some black streamers. I have, I have a plan for this and it's probably going to be a crafting video on my channel next month because you know I love the Halloween crafts and seriously you guys I did all this damage in like three days <laughs> because like I said I just decided <laughs> I just decided that I was gonna have this party my fifth one annual party uh, three days ago so I can do a lot of damage pretty quick oh my lord <laughs> You guys are cracking me up in the chat. Okay. So where did I buy this stuff? I think I bought this stuff at Walgreens the other day when I was trying to find some RA stuff. Uh, just some purple string lights. Hey, Glenn. Oh, God. Knight says it looks like a rake and profits. Maybe Steve. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, purple lights. Okay, so and this is this is my last bag, you guys. So at the party, we have to have something to eat on and to um, have our desserts on, which a lot of people may eat desserts. I'm not sure why we even have them, but.
So everybody brings their favorite bottle of wine and an appetizer to share, which cuts down the stress on me, right? Because I'm not like cooking crazy in the kitchen or, or buying a whole lot of food. Everybody just brings something to share. But I do provide, um, and of course I'm going to have several things I'm going to provide anyway, and drinks too. But it's nice that everybody brings something. So I went to Hobby Lobby, and I got all of this Halloween stuff for 40% off. So these are the plates I got uh, for this year. And um, then I got some of the smaller ones, like for desserts. And then um, some little dinner napkins and then some dessert napkins. And this was so cute, I had to get on. These, um, I guess these are Hobby Lobby's uh, brother and sister brand Halloween 2017 forks. But they're real cute. They're like clear plastic wear, and they've got gold and black like glitter, little glitter flecks in there. Super cute. And I think there's one more thing in here. I also got these at, oh. I got all this at Walgreens. No, that, all that I got at Hobby Lobby, but the stuff I'm about to show you I got at Walgreens. And I'll, I'll probably have another haul in a couple weeks because I'm sure I'll found some more stuff. <laughs> but these are really cute. Hang on, I need a drink, you guys. These are really cute. They are, um, there's 24, 24 count spider gem rings. And what I'll do is I'll just scatter these around on the tables so everybody can pick them up and wear them if they want. Let's see what they look like. Put one on. Did I go on my fat finger? <clears throat> so there it is. Pretty cute, huh? $2.99. Okay, what? I've never seen that in the chat before. It says there's a message held for review. What is that? Um, hey, 8675309. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, Julie, but I love that song. Um, hang on, you guys, I'm getting a text. Do you mind if I look real quick? Don't you mean to be rude? Hang on, you guys, my friend's asking me something. You guys still can't hear that spooky music? Green box. But those look good too. Okay, sorry, that was so rude of me. All right, sorry. Okay, so yeah, so I'll just scatter these little bitty rings out on the table so people can pick them up and put them on. Um, and I got some fun witchy eyeshadow. Uh, wet and wild, purple and green and silver. Oh, you hear the music? Yeah, there's some creepy guy laughing right now. So yeah, it says limited edition glitter palette. So real pretty. You know, I called one time, I think it was last year. I called to see how much they were gonna charge me like to do my makeup witchy. And it was an insane amount of money. I wanna say it was like, I don't know, 70 or $80. And I don't ever have my makeup done. So I don't, I don't, I don't really know what something like that costs, but to me, that was just uh, a lot of money, right? To spend, I might do it one year, but uh, yeah. So um, that is my Halloween haul, you guys. <laughs> so does anybody have any questions or anything at all? Hopefully I'll be able to get my MacBook fixed. I recently got another 
machine uh, that I haven't even opened the box yet. So that's going to take up a lot of my time, I'm sure, this month because I'm probably going to open it tonight while I'm watching the MSP auction show that Barbara going on Grumpy is going to be on 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Mothership Products. I hope you guys will all go over and subscribe to Dwayne there. Um, hey, Mike. Uh, he says, sorry to be late. I want to learn. I have my makeup done. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you can give me some makeup tips. So, um, A Purple Lily says, that was fun. Thank you so much for watching. Um, no, Lonnie, it's the same machine that you know about, but I just still haven't opened the box yet. <laughs> like, because I know once I do, it's going to take up all my time. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say anything because once I start talking about it, I want to, I want to be able to show you guys what I'm doing with it. So just be expecting something fun for me this month. That's going to be new. Uh, yeah, Dwayne says, thanks for the shout out anytime. And also uh, join us tomorrow, you guys, for the reseller six pack. It's also going to be on Dwayne Mothership uh, Products uh, YouTube channel. And we are going to be talking about bolos. So that will be a super fun show. Tune in for that. You picked up one of those today too, Lonnie. Okay, we're going to have to talk after the stream is over. <laughs> so um, that went by really fast. You guys want to talk about anything? I have 26 viewers. Thanks for watching, you guys. Steve and Steph for resale killers are here. Hello. I already showed everything, Steph. Is that you with the keys, Steph? Um, yeah, watch the replay. I got a lot of stuff. Dexter. You want to talk about Dexter, Barbara? I could talk about Dexter and American Horror Story for a while. <laughs> yes, everybody thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, Twain. <laughs> Is this getting annoying? I couldn't find any of my Halloween earrings either. I don't know what I've done with all my Halloween jewelry, but I've got to find it before my party. Um, Catherine says, do you re resell that stuff after the party? No, I hoard it for next year. <laughs> I've got a ton of decorations. Um, I'll do the video probably the night of the party um, so everybody can see all the decorations I have. It's just ridiculously stupid how much stuff I have. My husband just loves it. Plus, I make him leave for the night. Like, he has to get out of here. <laughs> He's gone. The kids are gone. And it's, it's, it's on for the ladies. <laughs> um, hey, Krillin. Krillin asks, how do you get paid on Etsy? Is it like eBay or Amazon? How does, process, how does the processing work? I guess it's kind of like on eBay. I mean, when something sells, um, the money is kept at, at Etsy, right? So they hold it, and you can request for a deposit right then, or you can wait, like they have set deposit dates, or you can request um, for the deposit to be sent right away. But So you make the sell, and then once they pay for it, you ship it, and then once you ship it, uh, that money is sitting in your account on Etsy. What are you selling on Etsy, Krillin? Um, Karen's at the beach says looking good Tanya thanks <laughs> okay so Barbara calls the resale killers Dexter okay <laughs> that's a compliment um, wait I have to read up here um, okay Oh, okay, so Henry says it's now one week for payout. Okay, I did not notice that. I usually just let the money sit there anyway until I get a um, until they automatically transfer it. Uh, uh, Steph says, Tanya, how many pair of glasses do you have? These are cute. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have a ton of glasses. These, this pair just seems to be the pair that doesn't glare quite as much as my other ones. This, here's, there it is. This pair I got this morning at the Dollar Tree, and I really, you know, I got these yesterday at the Dollar Tree. I really like them. They're like animal print, but look how much they glare. They glare a lot more, and I don't need a big, uh, whatever it's called, magnification. I only do the 1.00, but I need it, and I definitely like it. Um, Krillin says, I have a ton of vintage clothes. I am thinking about double posting, so there is no PayPal on Etsy. No, there's no PayPal on Etsy. I mean, I don't do a ton of Etsy, but um, yeah, I mean, I guess people pay you through PayPal. I'm just so embarrassing. I don't even know. Seriously. Sorry, I can't answer your question any better. I sell something on Etsy maybe once, once, once a week lately has been the going thing. So, um, I mean, the money, now that I'm thinking about it, the money is not sitting in my PayPal account. It's sitting in my Etsy account. So I'm not sure how they're paying. Geez, that sounded really blonde, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so Henry has come to the rescue. He says, use card, canned card, do PayPal on Etsy. Um, I don't know. Super glare, yeah, on the other ones, right? So these just aren't as bad. And actually, I think I bought these at a garage sale. And they are... Um, it says something I something readers, but I saw that 1.00 on it, and they were like a quarter. So I got them. I I always pick up glasses when I see them uh, if they're that cheap like that and they're in good condition because I lose them like crazy. Uh, Steph says pretty sure they do a bank transfer directly when you transfer it out. If I remember right, yeah, that's what I thought too. So too bad Angie's not here. She can answer us. But yeah, I don't sell as much on Etsy as I do on eBay. But um, I guess I'm going to wrap this up before somebody asks me a question I can't answer again. <laughs> so um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my Halloween haul. And like I said, I'll probably do another one maybe in a couple weeks. And um, I have that jewelry jar that I showed you guys yesterday. And I'm probably going to be opening that up on either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, I need to do a sales update video for the last two weeks of September. Sales are going great. Um, Lonnie Garage Flips helped me out with the promoted listings, and so I've, I've been using it now for about a week, and my sales have just been, I've been getting like six sales a day for the past couple of days, so that's awesome. Super excited about that. So I'll have a decent sales update to bring you guys uh, next week. So I'll do a sales update next week. I'll do the jury jar and jarring. Plus, I picked up some more jewelry this morning at Goodwill. Big surprise. <laughs> so I'll show you guys that the same day I do the um, jewelry jar and jarring. But plan to stick around for like an hour because when you open those jewelry jars, it takes some time. It takes a while to go through all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. And I hope that you guys are getting ready for Halloween. Um, come back and leave a comment later. Let me know what you're doing to decorate in your house or in your front yard for Halloween. I would love to um, either see it or hear about it. And um, tune in tonight at 7 p.m. on Mothership Products YouTube channel at uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right. Bye, y'all. Take care.